Hey everyone, I'm Eric from Around 2 at RC, and today I'm going to show you the Fokker DR1. Now this is a ready-to-fly microelectric RC airplane made by Flyzone. And as you can tell, I've already unboxed the airplane. So let's go over the airplane right now and the accessories that come with it, and then we'll take it out to the flying field and give it a try. Now out of the box, the airplane is ready to fly, but Flyzone does offer an unpainted pilot figure and machine gun to add more realism to your airplane. And I've already painted my pilot figure and installed him and the machine gun on the airplane. Scale details include an authentic World War I trench scheme that's been added during production, so there's no painting required for the plane or decals to add. And Flyzone also included a replica rotary engine to enhance those scale looks. The accessories that are included with the airplane is the Tactics 2.4 GHz 3 channel controller and you also get 5 AA batteries for the controller. Also for the airplane you get one battery and it is a Flyzone 1 cell 3.7 volt 130 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery. And the really neat thing about the charging system for this kit is that it's built into the transmitter itself. All you do is turn the transmitter over, open up the compartment, plug the battery in, the green light comes on on the front of the controller. When the light goes out, the battery is charged. And finally, you get a manual with your airplane. Now let's go over the specs of the Fokker real quick. The top wingspan is 14.1 inches or 358 millimeters. The length is 12 inches or 305 millimeters. And the flying weight is 1.3 ounces or 36 grams. Let's talk about the transmitter real quick and then we're out of here. Now the Tactic 2.4 GHz controller is a three channel radio system, meaning you have throttle control on the left stick and rudder and elevator control on the right stick. So this airplane should be fun and easy to fly for all types of pilots. Well, that's about it for the first part of the review for the Fokker. Let's go ahead and take this bad boy on out to the flying field and give it a try. So easy to fly. Yeah, I'd crash it in a minute. <laughs> Whoa, and you almost did. <laughs> Alright, let's do another dive, ready? <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun plane. You see it's so easy to fly? Look at that. Right turn, left turn, there we go. Yeah. That wasn't too good. What well, do you think you can do better? Maybe. Give me the camera and let's go, come on. Maybe. Here, give me the camera. Give me the camera, all right. Okay. Do you know how up, to work Up, down, this? left, right. Huh? Up, down, left, right. <laughs> yeah, she's never flown a plane before in her life. Okay. Up. Oh, down is up. Down is up. Oh, great. Up can is do, down. Can I do it like this? Uh, <laughs> no. Up, down. No, because then that way, uh, right would be left. <sighs> okay. Have no. you got this? No. Here. All right. Up, down. But what is this one over here? Hey! Okay, I know what that one is now. <laughs> <laughs> Millie, you better look out. You better look at Here. it. It's all nice and pretty. Because yeah. it's not going to be pretty in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here. You want me to launch it and then hand it over to you? Um, huh? No. Are you sure now? I'm sure. Okay. Ooh. Just give it full throttle and let it rip, honey. Go. Check it out. Yay! Yay! Hey. All right, let's take it back to the shop and break it on down for you. 
Okay, that was the review and flight of the Fokker DR1 by Flyzone, and let me give you my final thoughts now. First, let's talk about the radio control system. Now, the three channel tactics controller felt really good while it was in my hands at the field, and it made flying the plane fun and easy. And I didn't have to worry about interference from other pilots while I was there because of the 2.4 gigahertz radio system. And the added bonus with the transmitter is you can charge the airplane battery on the back of the transmitter so it makes it portable and keeps that flying fun going while you're at the field. Now I'd recommend this airplane to the novice pilot and on up to the seasoned pilots. You should have a good time flying this airplane in your backyard, local gym, or local flying field. So overall I'm going to give the plane a thumbs up. I really enjoyed flying it and I hope you enjoyed the video review. For more information on this airplane you can find it online at TowerHobbies.com and I'll be providing direct links to their website for this plane in my video notes. So be sure to read my video notes and go check this plane out at TowerHobbies.com, okay? Well, that's it for the review on the Fokker. As always, I'm glad you got to see me and keep on flying. All right, we gotta try it one more again. Okay, everybody. Candy's first time flying. Down is up. Yep, down this is up. What's the matter? This needs to be in my right hand. You're not ambidextrous? No. Look Whoops. out! I got this. You got this? I got this. I think you need to stay on this side of the camera. Okay. Go! Give us some throttle! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> okay. Go! No! Oh. <laughs> I'm done! Well, I can tell you what. This, Let me go back to the helicopter. This plane sure can not take a beating. <laughs> You see the little man's face? He's yeah. going, ah! ah! Andy's got the controls. <laughs> okay. So down is up, right? Yeah, well, you gotta, don't. Did you, you do get, it. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. More throttle, more throttle. Uh, okay, more throttle. Look, you're doing it, kinda. All right, kill the throttle. <laughs> I'm done. You're done? <laughs> yeah, let's stop watching one piece. <laughs>